Matt Hancock is one of the stupidest people I have ever heard of in my entire existence. Why would anyone with two brain cells think it was a good idea to give a journalist access to your private messages? I don't care if she's helping out on your pandemic diaries memoir. You would have to be so away with the fairies and stuck up your own arse to not comprehend how idiotic this was. The content of these WhatsApp messages has been quite eye-opening for many. Further highlighting the total shambles that went on during the COVID pandemic. It is not just Hancock that features in these messages. The then Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has a few interesting things to say. Here he mentions he is quietly going crackers about the lack of testing capacity. He even dared question the usefulness of shielding, backed up by Sir Patrick Valance and Professor Chris Whitty. Boris equated the danger to falling down the stairs for over 65s. Yet the policy was reintroduced anyway. Many other examples of government officials saying the exact opposite of their official stances can be seen throughout. Too much contradiction and hypocrisy exists for me to go through it all. And frankly, I just don't care anymore. Every belief I have had over Covid has been shown to be true. Everyone. Every politician in Westminster I had already known to be hypocritical, backstabbing, walking, talking, paid mouthpieces for their individual leash holders. Because one thing's certain, they sure as hell don't represent the common people of Great Britain anymore, do they? Matt Hancock's constant stupidity is just another symptom of the death of democracy in the West. Why can't we have any politicians that actually believe in their own policies? Why must we have politicians that can't answer a simple yes or no question? Politicians are supposed to work for the public. It's about time that they were reminded of that.